All right, I wanted to do a quick demonstration of suture removal, actually, because, um, you know, most of the time we might not think about it, but when we're removing sutures from the skin, these are, uh, you know, these have been there within the skin maybe three, five, seven, ten, fourteen days. And so the normal skin flora, bacteria, has started to colonize over that area for sure and so we want to make sure that we remove them in a very specific way with best practice as well so <clears throat> generally the idea is we want to when we cut the suture we don't want to just cut it right in the middle and pull it out because if we cut in a way that rem that part of the suture that is out on the skin right now is then drug underneath the skin and through the tissue before it's pulled out it's going to be seeding and tracking bacteria all along the way and puts the person at increased risk of infection so for best practices there's a specific way to do this um, I want to show you how um, I'd recommend it so first of all quick little alcohol swab is a good idea clean off the area okay it's going to just further reduce the risk of uh, bacteria being pulled through this wound. And then we're going to take a suture scissor. I like the kind that have a, <clears throat> sorry about that, have the little hook. So it makes it easier to hook underneath. Now what we're going to try to do here is cut either on this far left side, right where it enters the skin, or cut right underneath the knot over on this, this side. Okay, so there's two different ways to do this. So for example, we could just sneak our scissor right underneath, be very careful to not cut the patient's skin, and snip right there. Now notice, I cut it and the part that was within the skin already is still within the skin. The part that was draped over is now free floating. And as I pull this up, no part of the suture that was on the outside is being drugged through the patient's skin. So let me do that one more time. Another way to do it is sneaking right underneath the knot just like that, cutting right there underneath the knot. Notice every bit of the suture that is on the outside of the patient's skin, as I pull it through, stays on the patient's, on the outside of the skin, rather than being drugged through the tissue, seeding bacteria all along the way. Hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions or other thoughts, feel free to post those in the comments below.